One of the most devastating incidents we might encounter in our factories is fire. A fire incident will disrupt your factory and it might cause you to miss delivery commitments. And depending on the seriousness of the fire, you might lose your customers. Some good employees might decide to leave your employment because of the trauma of experiencing fire. And those who stay may suffer from the shock for many days and impact productivity negatively. In an extreme fire, some of your employees might be severely injured or even die. This might result in your factory being fined by the government authority. And you might be subject to lawsuits from employees, their families or other people. It will negatively impact your reputation in the community and you might find it difficult to attract good employees, let alone customers. It might even lead to bankruptcy. Truly a bad and sad story. But it doesn't have to end this way. If you build a system to manage fire safety in your factory, do you want to know how? By learning how to assess prevent and control. And here's briefly what's involved. Assess. First of all, you have to assess your fire risk. You have to understand what can happen in your factory. How do we do that? At a minimum, every year or each time major changes take place at your factory, walk through the factory with some of your key employees and health and safety experts and assess where and what kind of fires might start and how negative the impact of such fires might be on your business. In doing so, pay particular attention to the types of material and quantities on site, work processes and ignition sources, and the number of employees potentially impacted by each possible fire incident. Second, if you have had a near-miss incident at your factory, be sure to reassess your risk. Near-misses are like practices. Learn from each near-miss in order to prevent the big one. Prevent. Neither the management nor health and safety staff can be everywhere at every minute. The most important success factor in fire prevention is to build a culture of safety among all employees. One of the most effective ways to build such a culture is to actively engage a safety committee comprising workers on the floor and a few key managers. The safety committee should be given time to organize conduct assessments and training, and evaluate fire readiness in the factory. A culture of safety can only be sustained when all the managers walk their talk. Make safety the first priority in everyday discussions with workers, and ensure safety procedures are carefully followed. Based on the fire risks you assessed, ensure the right types of fire equipment are maintained in the right places. Fire equipment must be the right kind to dissipate the types of fire that can occur in specific workplaces. Having the wrong equipment is worse than having none at all, as it gives a false sense of security and may be useless during a real fire, resulting in worse damage being caused. Be sure that fire detection equipment, such as smoke detectors and alarms, is installed in the right places and checked and maintained regularly to ensure that they will work reliably as per the manufacturer's specifications. Then, the factory must establish an emergency response plan which includes post proper signage on fire risks to alert employees, establish protected evacuation routes and exits. These must be free from obstruction at all times. If there are multiple floors, evacuation routes must be wide enough to accommodate workers cascading down from higher floors. Establish a working relationship with a local or closest fire authority, which can manage the scale of potential fire at your factory. Involve them in fire drills and the factory fire safety events. The more familiar they are with your factory's layout and risks, the more effective they will be in quelling a fire at your factory.
if recommended by the fire authority, involve them in establishing and training the factory's fire safety team. The employees in the fire safety team are essential in quelling near misses and raising employee awareness of fire safety, at least annually or according to the local law if it requires more frequently. Conduct fire drills as they are essential in making sure everyone can evacuate safely. With repeated practices, workers will become more confident in their ability to safely evacuate under understandably prone to panic fire situations, if they occur. Fire safety is everyone's responsibility, as well as right to work in a safe workplace. Management has utmost accountability for a safe workplace, and each employee is responsible for carrying out work duties while upholding safety practices. Control Even if you've done all you could to prevent fire, unfortunately, it can happen for reasons you cannot control. So now that you've learned how to get ready in the case of fire, it is your time to control it. If you see smoke or fire and the alarm has not sounded, if you can, turn on the fire alarm to alert everyone. If the fire is still in its beginning stage, alert the fire safety team. And if the fire cannot be controlled, call the local fire authority. Unless you're a member of the fire safety team, your role is to ensure that all the workers evacuate the factory as was instructed during the fire drill practices. Once arriving at the designated safe location, check those that have evacuated to account for every worker. If any workers are missing, alert the fire authority. Do not allow anyone to return to the workplace until the fire authority officially declares it safe to return. After the fire incident, make certain that the incident is investigated thoroughly as to the root causes of the fire. Take each root cause into account and design countermeasures to adjust the existing fire safety systems and implement the countermeasures systematically. Remember, the impact of fire at the factory is enormous, so establish a set of connected systems to assess, prevent and control. For more detailed instructions on each component of fire safety systems, 